over here in the bunker at number 10. Third shot. Yeah. The ball somehow stayed in the grass on the face of oh. that bunker, but That's using some athleticism, some hand-eye. Great shot. Hudson Swafford now backing it up with a birdie here at number 11. Good tee shot and an even better putt. Remember, that holds 240 yards. Big slope in front as well. Tough one to get to. Oh, man, he dialed that one in. That's another right. good shot by Hudson right. Swafford. Five birdies today, just one bogey. Not much to this putt. Right. Nicely done by Swafford has one of the better rounds in the afternoon wave going. Yeah, that was not his best by any stretch. A little left to right. And done. Man, I don't think he thought he made that. Came back to the left at the end. It did. I think he thought he missed it on the right, Kurt. Yeah, he sure did. Well, he had a huh. cut there. Didn't get all the way to the fairway. A couple of great saves on the last hole. This line not great here. Boy, that is fantastic from that line to control that. Yes, it is. This for birdie and share the lead. Hudson Swafford. We made a lot of nice putts, but he hit he hit the ball pretty solid as well. Uh, Aaron, what's uh, Swafford facing here at the sixth? This was the one place you could not miss it, and he has just played a beautiful yeah. shot. Very creative. Bounced it into the hill. He's played the par fives beautifully this week. I was just looking. He birdied this hole the first two rounds. Down, down. down. Nice shot. Landed just oh, into nice. that ridge. It was able to take a lot off that. That's a beautiful shot. It's lined up about a foot of break. And just right in the center. So these two guys come through seven and just demolish it. Get the, uh, Game five tonight. Tampa leads at 3-1, 8 Eastern on NBC. Now Swafford at the 8th. That was just from 112, smart play too. No one's going to take on that flag. It's just too dangerous. Both Swafford and O'Hare are playing on medicals right now. Both had some injury issues. Oh, I just pour it in. God, he has been putting lights out, hasn't he, Aaron? It's Hudson Swafford at the 10th. Yeah. That was from 185, and I think he landed that absolutely perfectly. Really well done. 118, and if he feels good about it, he can attack it. But again, long is no good. While flighting this one down, yeah. he's asking for it. Oh, within a foot, and it peeled back just a couple of feet. And that's wow, an excellent KB. shot now. Another beautiful afternoon. And a big move by Hudson Swafford, 33 years old, out of the University of Georgia. Second at the gettable par five fourth. It's going to get better and better. Come on, baby. That will set up a really good look for Eagle. But it is all gone. Hudson Swafford for Eagle. Go ahead and do that. Swafford looking for his second win. EG. Anything inside a couple feet, he'll be happy with. And this for Birdie. Sensational start to this round. Birdie at three, Eagle at four, now a birdie at seven. We're live at the eight tee with the leader. Just an iron for position off that tee. It's a very short par four here at the eighth. Only mistake he can't make, Kurt, is going long here. 
Now, beautiful. All right. Gobbled up this front nine here, three under on the two par fives. Makes this five under off to the first eight. Well, he's putted so well all week, day one all the way through. That's been a key for him. He's always been long, ball striker. He's going to have to really rip this one. Down. Oh, man, he's feeling it. When it's going this good, you just keep hitting at the flag stick. What a golf shot. He wants to end up right of where the bill of his cap is, right of that. Should be good here, Kurt. He's driven the ball beautifully. And that's another good one there. So he can be aggressive on the layup, try to get a sand wedge in his hands. Hudson Swafford. Much the same as the last two holes. He's got a false edge that he has to deal with, probably three or four paces short of this hole. 144 yards playing back into the wind. Good shot. There you go. Much better. Outside of the right, and after what he's been through the last couple of holes, this would be huge for him. Kind of just stayed right there. Good putt. Speed was correct. Lead stays at one. I like that apex number. Oh, one of the best shots of the day at 17. Hudson Swafford coming up huge. About seven feet left for birdie. That would get him back in the lead. Wow. Massive birdie at the 71st hole. Now has a one-shot lead, depending on what McKenzie does up at 18. Oh, he's got to think a par is going to get it done. Oh, man. Gut check par at 18 after a huge birdie at 17. And Hudson Swaffer digs it out. He wins the Corrales Punta Cana Resort and Club Championship. <laughs> Thanks, man. How impressive was it? Yeah. Very. Yeah. 